I'm gonna be showing you two different platforms to create your very own NFT collection. We're gonna be reviewing NFT Inator versus Glip. You're gonna be learning three things. Number one, the key features. Number two, the pricing. Number three, which one I would choose. NFT Inator is a toolkit to create layered NFTs. Think about it like creating Pokemon cards with different rarities. You can have holographic backgrounds, all of those things. That's what NFT Inator allows you to do. Glip allows you to create NFTs and you can drop them live while you're streaming on Twitch. You simply just click the F4 button and it allows you to create an NFT of the last 30 seconds. Let's look at the key features. For NFT Inator, this allows you to design and test, generate your NFT, and then be able to put it out either on your own website or have it on OpenSea, and the list goes on. So if I'm looking at NFT Inator, I launch the app, I can first use the demo project or bring in my own folder. This allows me to see my project and be able to see the different ways I can change it. And this breaks down the project so I can have different accessories, headbands, clothing, backgrounds, all of those things. And that allows me to have options of how my project is going to look and really the amount of different types of rare NFTs I can have. The other feature that I really like where it mentions generate, this allows me to adjust the rarity for each variation. So if I want something that's super rare, I can be able to do it in just a few clicks. Looking at the key features for Glip, this just got launched on Product Hunt not too long ago. So we're still waiting to get access to this. Uh, I applied, I, I'm joining the Discord, but I haven't seen the full thing yet. But what we've seen in the demo video is once the streamer is streaming, they can just click the button. Then there's gonna be a link in the chat so people can go to the auction and have 15 minutes to buy the NFT. And it will be an auction, so it will go up and up in price. And then within the 15 minutes, the winner gets the NFT. But the other thing I like about Glip is it's not just like a rush to get people to pay for you. You can also build experiences or custom things around it, including Discord around ones that are holding the NFTs of the influencer or the streamer. There's a lot that they plan on having. So interested to see what Glip is gonna be doing. Regarding pricing for NFT Inator, it's free. You can build this out and then export it. Then you're gonna need something like Third Web or others to be able to distribute this NFT. But again, creating all of these things, it's gonna be free. If you've looked at other different collections or people doing this and paying people on Fiverr or Upwork, people are paying a couple hundreds to tens of thousands of dollars for this artwork. If you have the basic skill of creating this, if you're an artist or you have the elements, you could be building your NFT collection really cheaply and really quickly and then launch it to your audience. For Glip, because this is such a new project, I've not seen any pricing involved with this project, but they are going to be very selective for early access. They're going to be screening you, and there are also other things that's gonna be interested. They talk about earn a stake in the company for the first 500 founding glippers. Uh, there's a lot with this, so interest is to see what's gonna be happening in the future. Now, looking at which platform I would choose, and the winner is NFT Inator. I'm gonna go with them because number one, it's already out. I can start using the app right now, and for the majority of people that want to get started in the space for NFTs, I, we're getting a lot of comments from artists or ones that are just trying to get started right now. I think this tool can be really good for you. If you are already using things like Photoshop or others, you're already used to layers, you can really start capitalizing and using this platform. Now, this project is brought to you by diamond hands hotel and i really like what they're trying to do they're also a web3 agency and nft technology provider they're doing a lot of interesting things with their agency they're doing a lot utilizing third web it looks like so they're very interested in the space and i think a project like this to basically be able to help people to get into web3 and help themselves at a minimal Cost, I love it. I think this has a lot of benefits. So that's why I'm gonna go with NFT Inator. Now, Glip 
does have a lot of legs under it, or that's what it appears, it's still very new. Haven't been able to see it. It's still in early access. And this is a really a niche platform that's going to work for influencers that are streamers and on Twitch. So if you're using YouTube or DLive or whatever, this is meant for Twitch streamers and they're going to be very selective when they're just rolling this out right now. So th basically the jury's still out on this. I think if you're interested, sign up, join the Discord, see if you can apply if you're a streamer and you're doing something like this. I think this could be very interesting in the future and super simple for influencers to have another revenue stream, especially streamers. There's just, if you've already got the audience right there, I think something like Glip could just take it over the edge and really make you stand out and have a really excellent and unique experience with your audience. We're going to see what happens. Now, in the comment section down below, let me know what you're trying to do. Are you trying to create an NFT collection? Are you an artist? Are you an influencer? Are you a brand trying to work with influencers? Let me know. And if you like these kind of videos, make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel. We do this every single week. I'll see you in the next video.